I am in M block. I'm already logged in and I'm going to click on this plus to start a new project. So in M block, I first want to delete this uh, Panda sprite. So I click on it and I delete it. And then let's bring a new sprite. So when I click this plus and then I go to animals, then we have got all these animal sprites. Now, if you will click a sprite, then you can see that this sprite has some animation already built in. So this is this animation of a bat flapping its wings. And if I click this sprite, we again have some animation. If I click this sprite, nothing happens, which means there is no animation here. And if I click this butterfly, again, we have the butterfly with flapping wings. So let's choose a sprite in which there is some animation built in. So let me choose this butterfly. And then let me edit this butterfly because this butterfly is one very big. I don't want it so big and I want to change its position. So I want the butterfly to start from here. And basically what we want to do is we want to make the butterfly fly from this point to this point. So first to make the sprite smaller, I go to para parameters and in parameters, I take size, which is right now 100 and it means 100%. So I go and I say here, let's make it 60%. So now I've got a smaller butterfly and I'll reposition it. I want it to start from here and fly till this point. So to do this, we go into motion and one way of doing it is to take this move block and then to trigger this programming block called move, I go into events and from here I drag out when green flag clicked. Now if I run this program, when I click my green flag, my butterfly moves 10 steps. So if I click again, it moves 10 steps and if I keep clicking, it moves 10 steps. One thing we can do is we can, for example, say that move 100 steps. And if I say OK, and then I run the program now. But it's not really moving. It's kind of jumping from one location to another location. What we want to do is we want the butterfly to move 10 steps and not a very large number like 100. But what we want is we want to repeat this move 10 steps a number of times. To repeat a command, if you go into control, you will get what in programming languages is called loops. So loops, all that loops mean is that rather than saying that I have this command move 10 steps and then I bring out another move 10 steps and then I bring out another move 10 steps and I one more 10 steps move 10 steps command. Instead of repeating the same command a number of times, we just put that command inside a loop and we say execute that loop a certain number of times. For example, here we would say execute the command move 10 steps four times. So we have two types of loops here. One is called a repeat loop and one is called a forever loop. So if I bring out this repeat loop, and then I put some command inside this loop, then whatever is the command inside, it will get repeated in this case 10 times. So what we are saying in this program is when green flag is clicked and we are writing this code for this butterfly sprite, move the butterfly sprite 10 steps and repeat this move 10 times. So move it 10 steps, then move it 10 more steps, then move it 10 more steps like that. So let's test this. I bring it back to the starting position. And if I click the green flag, now whenever I click the green flag, move 10 steps, move 10 steps, move 10 steps. This command is being repeated 10 times and we get this better motion, which looks like the butterfly is moving nicely across the screen. Of course, I click this green flag three times. So if I have it here and I want to bring it uh, till this position, then watch, I click it once, twice, thrice, maybe four times. So what we can do is instead of that, this repeat command, instead of 10, I can say repeat this 
command move 10 steps repeat it 40 times and then if I go back in and I position it back to the starting point and now when I press the green flag my butterfly moves from this side of the screen to this side of the stage to the other side which is what we want. Now as you saw this butterfly actually has what are called costumes. So the butterfly has two costumes butterfly 1A costume and butterfly 1B costume and watch this butterfly if I quickly change this like this like this like this I say use the first costume then the second costume first costume second costume first costume second costume you get this animation as if the butterfly is flapping its wings so what we want is that when as the butterfly is flying we also want to switch the costume if we can quickly switch the costume and move the butterfly then we will have this nice animation of the butterfly not only moving or flying from this side of the stage to this side of the stage but also it will be flapping its wings so how do we change the costume so if you go to looks command then here if you scroll down you have these commands you have switch costume to butterfly 1a and if I drag this out you can see that it has both the both the options the costume called 1a and the costume called 1b so one way is to switch this costume by using this command or the other option is that use the next costume command so what will happen in the next costume is the butterfly whenever this next costume command is clicked the butterfly will change the costume from 1a to 1b and let's put this next costume command inside our repeat loop and then let's run the program so we have this butterfly that is moving across and also flapping its wings but it's flapping the wings too fast it doesn't look natural and in animation whenever you are creating a animated story then you have to be careful that it should look real animations appeal to an audience only when they look real so what we want to do is we want to reduce the speed at which the butterfly is flapping its wings and the way to do it is if you go into control you have this wait command so what we want to uh, what we are saying here is that within this repeat loop we are saying move the butterfly sprite 10 steps then change the costume then wait for one second then again move it 10 steps change the costume to 1b then wait for one second then move 10 steps change the costume to 1a wait one second and if I play this if I run this program you can see that now it's too slow so we are getting the effect we want but one second wait is too long so I go back here and I change the wait to let's say 0.3 seconds and then if I run my program now we have got a nice animation of the butterfly going from one side of the stage to the other side and nicely flapping its wings so this is a nice animation of a butterfly flying while flapping its wings what you can also do is if you are creating an animated story you can go to this background section click on edit and then click on this plus button and then you have so many backgrounds just like you have a sprite library you have a backdrop library or a background library so let's choose some nice background here so we have a story of a butterfly flying so I'm going to choose this blue sky backdrop and after selecting it I'm just going to click this tick icon and now if I run this then we have the butterfly flying across the stage with a nice backdrop and with its wings flapping.